This report is coming from Douglas County, Oregon, and it's written more in a log format, but it's pretty dang detailed. I think you guys will like this. This report starts on October 10th, 2015 and ends on October 18th, 2015. October 10, 2015, my brother Doug and nephew Troy, age 73 and 47, were deer hunting and at 6 a.m. heard vocalizations that lasted approximately one minute. October 16, 2015, my brother and nephew and I, during an elk hunting trip, we went to bed about 10 p.m. and at 1 a.m. we were woken by a series of three loud knocks. October 17, 2015, my brother Doug, my nephew Troy, and I, Larry, were playing cards in my brother's camp trailer and decided to go to bed at 10 because we were getting up early for our next morning elk hunt. My brother and I were sleeping in his camp trailer and my nephew was sleeping in his pop-up tent trailer. At a little after 1 a.m., I heard a bang on top of the trailer like a rock hitting the top of the trailer. I got out of my sleeping bag and without turning on a light looked out the windows, but I did not see anything and so I did not wake up my family and I went back to sleep. At 2.30 a.m. my nephew was awakened by a very loud, wah! I think that's probably what they're talking about or maybe a wah! It says W-A-A-A-A. <laughs> my brother and I both had earplugs in because we both snore and we did not hear it. Troy lay in his sleeping bag listening, and at 2.35 he heard footsteps and noises right outside his tent trailer. He could hear breathing. A few seconds later, he heard something urinating on or close to the tent trailer. Not knowing what to do to get our attention in the other trailer, he pushed his Jeep's panic button. It was parked about 20 feet in front of the trailers. Even with our earplugs, the Jeep's beeping horn and flashing lights woke me up. I got up, opened the door of the camp trailer, yelling to Troy if he was alright. He yelled back that something was in our camp. I grabbed a flashlight and walked around the trailer, shining the light into the trees, but did not see anything. After about an hour, we all went back into the camp trailer to sleep because it has metal sides. The tent trailer only has canvas sides. Next morning before we went out, we decided to be careful not to destroy any evidence. Between the trailers, the ground was very hard. We found two sets of toe prints. At the rear of the camp, among some trees, we found two footprints 16 inches long and 5 inches wide. In a patch of high grass coming out of a meadow, we could see where the grass was flattened from something walking across it. The distance between steps was 5.5 feet. The next morning, my nephew went to some hunters camp down the road about a quarter mile away. They said at 11.30, on 10-17-2015, they were sleeping in their fifth-wheel trailer, and something bumped the side of their trailer and pounded on the top of the trailer. The trailer was about 10 feet tall. October 18, 2015, we rearranged the trailers, moving them closer together. We had three game cameras, so we set them up around the camp in case we got visited again, but nothing came in. Thank you so much for a detailed report, and if you want to submit yours, just go ahead and click on the link in the description, or you can go on to squatchable.com and you can put it there. Thank you. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye.